関西学院大学工学部物質工学課程の田中博久です今回桜サイエンスプログラムを通じましてインドと台湾の学生さん18名の方に来ていただきましたインド、台湾、そして日本もですね2050年のカーボンニュートラルに向けてですねどうやって新しいエネルギーを手に入れていこうかとそういった大きな共通の課題があります燃料電池と太陽電池というのを実際に実習もしていただいてシミュレーション理論計算もしていただいて我々と研究の課題を共有化できたと,ところはとても貴重な時間だったなと思います。The reason that I decided to join the SSP is because I am interested in different new technologies, especially sustainable technologies for a sustainable future and living. In this program, I think what I remember the most is about Professor Tanaka's project that he's been working with with a new、uh, hydrazine fuel cell. I think it's a very sustainable solution for. Um, sustainable energy production. That's definitely one thing I remember, and then I will also remember the places I walked to, the temples I saw, fresh air in Japan. Those are sites I will never forget. The most、uh, im impression thing、uh, for me is that、uh, to visit in the, the Spring 8, the highest level of the research、uh, facility, yeah, this is the rare chance to visit this. I have a number of people to make friends,、um, like good teachers from which I have to gain more and more knowledge from them. Of course, Tanaka, sir, he guided us a lot. About SSP, that I will remember the most is the lectures which are given by the professor, as well as the experiments and laboratories. And I will remember the persons over here. It was a really nice experience. まあ、この関西学院大学神戸三田キャンパスでやっているエネルギーに関する研究そして環境に関する研究が、まあ、世界レベルまで高めていくことによってですね海外からの学生さんがぜひ日本の関西学院大学へ行ってそういった研究をしたいと、まあ、そういうふうに思ってもらえるようにしてですねここがそういったあの研究開発のセンターとなってそして学生さんたちが世界に向かって情報を発信して羽ばたいていってくれるとすごく嬉しいなと思います。I'm Dr. To of Kwansei Gak University. We invited the、uh, Indonesian student of our partner university、uh, to, so that they can learn the Japanese as a, a science of our school. And I gave a lecture about computational biology of proteins. The Professor Yao gave a lecture about the image analysis of cells. Professor Tsuboi gave a lecture about the、uh, water quality analysis. In addition to the learning、uh, science in our university, we、uh, went to the Arashiyama to learn Japanese culture. I will remember all of it, but especially,、uh, I really love learning about the new technology that are here in the laboratory. And also, I will、uh, miss、uh, the field trip in Lima Onsen. And then walking around the Osaka Street, and it's just unforgettable. And s e g a p i n University has a really、uh, supportive environment for the student, especially for science and technology. All the laboratories are often equipped with the newest technology, and the professors are very updated with the new, new, newest technology, and I am delighted to be here. Uh, we have many、uh, international master course students who have experienced Sakura Science. So,、uh, Sakura Science program is a great opportunity for us to introduce the, our university to foreign, foreign students. This is actually my first time joining the exchange program or going abroad after all. My new friends and also all of the teachers, staffs, teachers' assistants, I think that is the most wonderful part of the program itself, the people surrounding me. And also in Japan, you have almost all of the tools that you can actually cultivate in order to support your research. But not only the tools in itself, also the environment to actually support you to study. I think it is a very, very nice place for you, not only to study, but also to live as a student or a researcher in the future. Sakura Science Program 2022. Yay!